Elsewhere, President William Ruto is yet again expected to travel out of the country on Tuesday to Japan for a two-day state visit. This marking his fourth visit since this year and more than 50 trips since being sworn in, raising serious criticism from the opposition who accuse him of wasting public resources. President Ruto's trip coming hours after he hosted his Polish counterpart, President Andrzej Duda, at Seta of Nairobi, where the two countries signed bilateral agreements, tax solidarity, and agricultural development. Jeff Kirui with the details. Kenya and Poland have signed agreements to enhance bilateral relations between the two countries. The two nations signed bilateral agreements at State House Nairobi and Poland President Anzeg Duda who is in the country for a two-day state visit. This is not just a, a visit of courtesy. This is a visit which brings with it a big potential of economic cooperation for the future. I firmly believe in this for both our countries. Poland is a valued partner of Kenya with common values and shared ambition and aspirations guiding our present and future relationship. We are united in our quest to enhance collaboration in trade and economic affairs, agriculture and food security, environment and climate action, as well as our individual and collective contribution to multilateralism. The agreements will see the two countries scale up collaboration in the agriculture and food security sector as President Ruto called on Polish investors to exploit investment opportunities in the country. I also encourage them to leverage Kenya's strategic geographical advantage with Nairobi serving as the hub and gateway for their regional and continental investments as a technology powerhouse Kenya offers unrivaled opportunity. On Tuesday, Ruto will then depart Kenya for an official visit to Japan. Since assuming office in September 2023, President William Ruto has made more than 50 foreign trips. This year alone, President Ruto has made three trips out of the country. In January, he visited Uganda for the 42nd IGAD summit in Kampala before attending the swearing-in ceremony of President Felix Shisekedi of Democratic Republic of Congo. Good morning. How are you? Ruto would close the month of January attending the Italy-Africa summit in Rome. Trips that have been criticized with the opposition led by Raila Odinga terming them a waste of time and public funds. Waswahili wanasema asiekueko na lake halibu. Munafikiri tunaweza kunegoshiet na watu tukiwa mimi nikikaa hapa kwa kijiji. Silazuma nende nipange vile vijana hawa watapata ajira. Jeff, Kirui, KTN News. Now three more people have succumbed to injuries sustained during...